You can do everything right there. Do you want me to be right here? No, no, I don't. No. I'm all up. <laughs> Woo! That was a thunderous clap. B3, B3 belts. belts. <laughs> <laughs> Finish each other's sentences. No big deal. So we got the V3 belts coming. Yep. We're bouncing from two sizes to four. Give a little more range for all the different body types. Listen to the end users, the feedback we got. Uh, kind of one of the biggest ones, upgrade inner belt. We went from a three belt system for the V2, which had an inner belt, an outer belt, and then an outer sheath. And so now we're shifting from three belts to two, this being the inner belt. And also, you can rotate it and be a non-metallic EDC every day kind of belt. Yeah, with the scuba webbing, it gives just enough rigidity to really fit everything. Like, I mean, we've been wearing it pretty much exclusively for almost a year now, mm -hmm. and it's nice. We upgraded some of the some of the hook, so it doesn't really catch on clothes anymore, which is nice, but it mates up really good when you lock the inner belt and the outer belt. And some of the feedback we got too was uh, after wearing over time, sweating, dirt, I won't say they weren't cleaning their gear, but they were wearing it hard. Um, the Velcro wasn't working as well. So that's why we wanted to upgrade with the low profile Velcro. And then some of the stiffness on the inner belt, you know, I'll just say people were asking for some stiffer options. So that's why we went with that and keeping it minimal. Um, but it's taken a little over a year to get. And the biggest thing is the sizing. The sizing and maximizing the amount of molly squares that we could for the size window was just short of like neurosurgery. Yeah, um, no easy feat. <laughs> example, DJ and I wear size 34 pants. When we tape our waist, we're 36s. So do not go off your pant size, go off a taped waist size. Well then the exact same thing is where you size that belt at. It's not where you're the slimmest because it's ego driven. It's where do you wear that belt? And at the widest points of my hip, that's exactly where I wear the belts. When we taped it, it's like, I am a true 36. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I thought it was a 35 or a 34 the entire time. It's like, you're actually not. But yeah, with the upgraded spacing now, you can really get, you maximize all the real estate. So it's nice. So just for size reference, we're tape measured waist 36s. So we're gonna be size large. Um, you'll see size large will range from 35 to 41 in, in waist size. A um, couple things going into it. This is a size medium inner belt, but ideal things we're looking for is at least, at least like a four inch kind of overlap on these belts. Will it work too? Sure, but not ideal. Obviously getting six, eight inches as well on that, not a big deal either, but covering those variances while maximizing the molly squares. So again, both DJ and I will wear size larges, but this belt's actually sized. DJ did a little sizing earlier and it essentially wraps all the way around your waist. So yep. there's no limitation on it for you. So like as your waist kind of grows and, and those sort of spectrums know that don't have an ego in it, you know, like I think that 34 to 36 inch waist is a fine dance, especially with the dad bods. And if you fluctuate 10, 20 pounds it makes some sizing a little different but I think size large is, is a good, kind of in that funky 34, 36 range. And some of the feedback we were getting are guys that go on winter deployments. Now they're wearing a set of 150, you know, poly underneath, poly on top. It's like now things start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like now your waist is gonna grow just because of the gear you have to wear for some of the weather conditions. So yeah, give yourself some range, different options. So kind of bouncing back to the V2, we had a small, medium and a large XL. The small medium had 20 workable molly spaces. The large XL had 22 workable molly spaces. So now that we upgraded to four sizes, the size small has 17 workable molly squares, uh, which you'll see is, let's see right here. There used to be a, a G right here on V2. Got rid of that, just made it more functional. I say one upgrade, but again, just adding workable molly squares. So. Small is 17 squares, medium is 20, large is 23, and XL is 26. 
And then the wide kind of range on there, so small is about 26 to 32, but you're maxing it out and there's a little size overlap. So small, you know, 26, 32, medium, 31, 36, large, 35, 41, and XL, 40 to 50. But same kind of tolerances on the friction adapter. It's a pain in the ass to set, but once you set it, you don't have to worry about it, it slipping. Uh, we'll, we'll do another belt build video uh, for V3 on setting up all different pouches and things like that. Um, the sizing. So if you're looking for the sizing, I'll just say if you see the D loop, it'll come like this and do that. And the sizing is right there. And same for inner belt. It only has the sizing white tag right here. So say small, medium, large, or XL. And those will be a standalone item as well. That was one of the other things we got from end yep. users is guys would lose the outer shroud and I was notorious for it. I'd ball it up and I'd shove it in a cargo pocket and throw it into a bag and now they're like, hey, I lost one, can I get another one? We never had it as a standalone item. We never yeah. really thought about it. And I mean, we lose stuff just like everybody else, but that is nice just being a, a standalone item. If you just want to get an upgraded EDC belt, if you just want one, this still works V2, all the same, still works at V1. There's no difference. We yeah. still have the hook and face in the same direction, so. Yeah, so big thing, still compatible with V1 and V2 belts. And then the colors will be black inner belts and then Cowdy Brown inner belts. And <clears throat> if you order a belt, it'll come as a system, inner belt, outer belt, or if you just want the option to upgrade your inner belt, single standalone option. I've actually really liked this thing. You know, we run around conceal carry a lot of times. We get the discrete carry concept clips and having this rigidity on there really has a nice form and function and it works through the belt loops. But for me, like when I put these things on, when it's time to go to work, we can just reverse them. And now it's EDC you can spin around the belt loop. And it, on that. it is surprising how many how much feedback we've gotten of people wearing these non-metallic kind of EDC belts. They're carrying like a G10, something that's you know not going to spike on a metal detector, and uh, it's good. I mean, we've been wearing them. We've been testing these belts for probably ten months. Yeah. And again, playing around with the sizes, stitching, things like that. Um, people may ask why why we have the low profile hook facing away from our body. Again. Just from our experience, when this is facing towards your body, kind of rubs on a little bit of love handles, grabs clothes a little more easily. So that's why we have it on the inner belt so it faces away from your body, less to chafe on your body, and then and then grabbing on clothes as well. So I have this thing in normal EDC configuration. It slides to the belt loops. It's nice and low profile, but if I'm trying to turn this thing in, I'm just stuck my shirt in here real quick. I'm gonna look like Cole on a fucking golf course. <laughs> fucking nerd. Will this fit within normal kind of pants belt loops? Yes. Um, but you don't have to take the belt off to rotate it, flip it inside out. So you come off the range, pull the outer belt off, and we just flip it inside out. There's a little more overlap, which is, is good. But again, it gives that kind of that waist range and flexibility. So Yeah, I like that too. Sometimes if I'm running a, a medium belt or something else, I don't really have that overlap. You really start to feel it, you start to exhale. If you don't have a perfect meet, mm -hmm. you kind of get some play in it. So yeah, I like to have a little bit of overlap. Then the same thing, we get a size it. Now with this thing, I go pretty much center. Snug as a bug in a rug. So as you can see, like once, once this is snapped in on there, you're already overlaying the inner belt. And then with, with your size large, 36, 36 inch waist, you're pretty much maximizing the full performance on that belt in the Molly squares. Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, you'd have a big gap right there. So I know some guys are running tourniquets, they're running blades, they're running all kinds of extra tools. And if you don't have the real estate to mount them, you're really at a disadvantage. So we're trying to maximize everything we can just to give more options for the end user. We asked everybody who's who in the zoo who's running these and the list is pretty humbling. And It's global. Every, yeah, everybody's kind of seeing the same thing. Like, hey, I really wish you had a a stiffer EDC belt. Hey, if you had four sizes because of X, Y, and Z, you know, small guys on the team, a bunch of females, small waist, and like, I mean, we had one, she's a competition shooter, and she's running a small medium belt, and she literally had a softball in the front of it to take up the space because she was so small. Like, we ended up making her a custom one. Like, okay, well, we've got that many people, let's go ahead and make them a belt. And we had another woman here yesterday, waist was 25, 26, and small, medium fit really well. She was excited, so. Yeah, that's great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. We'll get some load testing videos out as well. Uh, we load tested the V2s, 
Took it all the way up to almost 6,300 pounds before it sucked out that little friction adapter. The Austria Alpine buckles are rated to 42. So that, that's why we give that rating at 42. Um, but like all our stuff, we'll give you guys that testing, those results. I'm excited, man. Like it's been a long project trying to get off the road. And yeah, it's finally here. Thank God. And they'll come in all different colors, Coyote Brown, black, black multicam, multicam. Ranger Green. Ranger Green, we'll get some gray in there too. Yeah, we'll drop uh, we'll drop details below. See you guys soon. Appreciate Thanks. it.